Hey, what is going on guys? AgriMC here, and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make a Minecraft thumbnail. So yeah, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so we are going to start by going to File, New, and make sure you have it at 1280 by 720x720, as those are the max amount of pixels YouTube allows. And obviously the name is all up to your preference. I'm just going to put it at Thumbnail for the sake of the video. Okay guys, so now quickly before the tutorial does start, I want to say, you guys might want to do this, so I'm just going to type a random text, like LOL. Um, so what you guys want to do is you guys want to press this little folder right here as you guys can see um, My cursor is going over I believe So you guys want to press this and now this whole um, GUI will come up or interface whatever you guys want to call it and this little thing controls uh, How spaced your text really is so say if your text is like this you guys can just go here and change it to say zero Or you guys can change it to like 10 or just something whatever you want I would recommend doing something um, to where it touches, or no, it doesn't touch, something like this. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep mine on normal. So yeah guys, I'm just gonna do random text, like, uh, let's see. I will guess I'll do the word island, why not? Um, that doesn't look good, like this. Which one looks better? I think like this. So then that, and then, okay, yeah, so like this, so yeah. Um, so this is the text we're going to use and obviously you can go here and change it to whatever you want to say if I wanted it at negative 25 You could do that or even negative 50, but I would just keep it at zero Actually now now that I think about it, I'm gonna put it at Negative 10 why not? Also guys, I just want to say the font that I will be using is DK frozen memory and there's also another font called Crocodile Feet Demo, which is in my other video. If you guys want to watch it, you guys can get that font. But yeah, this font will be in the description from defont.com. So yeah. Okay, so now once you guys have the text, I will leave a PSD file um, in the description about this, uh, what's it called, this layer style that I do use. Now, I did make this layer style. So if you guys can, leave a like if you guys are going to use it. Also, let me show you guys how you guys can actually use it. So, you're going to get the text. It's going to be something like this. All you guys want to do, there's going to be another little button here. Just click on styles and just click that little, click in that box and just add it. And yeah, that's basically how you guys add it. If it doesn't save, then all you guys want to do is add it again. Then restart your Photoshop and it should be there. But anyways, I have my text now. So now from here, what I always do is I go, I press here or press the effects button, whatever you guys want to do. I go to drop shadow now. Let's change it to 90%. Now you guys can do this. I'm going to just put at make default. I just noticed that that was there. <laughs> so yeah, so now this is your text, how it looks. So now from here, what I would do is obviously, you know, people have, um, what's called more than one text. So I'm just going to quickly create something else and I will be back. Alright, so I just made a random tag saying Emerald. I, I don't know, it doesn't make sense, but you know, still. Okay, guys, so now that I do have the text, all you guys want to do is from here, shift click both of the tags and right click and rasterize layer style. What this would do is get rid of the layer style, basically. Pretty, you know, yeah. Um, now, do you guys want to right click again and merge layers? What this does is basically, you know, merge the layers, obviously. Now, this other layer style will be in the description as well, or in the psd file whatever you know you whatever you want to call it i'm just going to quickly put it like that so you guys just want to merge the layers and stuff and then use this uh layer style and if you guys can't tell the difference basically it just puts a little stroke on it and that little um drop shadow now you guys can obviously tweak it if you guys do want to you guys can change the opacity you know which actually doesn't look bad so yeah, obviously you guys can take off the, um, what's it called, the inner glow if you guys do want to. I'm just going to keep it on just because I like the color of it. So yeah, it adds a little bit of glow as you guys can see. Okay, so now that's the text part done of your thumbnail. Now you guys can obviously tweak it by basically turning on show transform controls and control clicking and this basically makes it to where you could drag it to wherever you want to now what I usually do is I just drag it a bit from the sides so something like this and I'm just gonna quickly save that 
Alright guys, so I am back and I did make this little render in Cinema 4D. Here it is. So yeah, I mean, I think it looks pretty okay, I guess. And now we're just gonna put it right here or somewhere behind the text. So I think something like this looks okay. So yeah, just something to cover the background a bit. Now we are going to obviously put that little bit of stroke in there. And the inner glow is all up to you. Okay, now I do have this picture from Google. Now uh, I'm just gonna crop out the um, the iron golem spawner. Okay, so for some reason the pen tool is being dumb, so I'm just gonna you know use this lasso tool. I don't really use this much, but I do know how it works. Um, there we go. There, there, there. All right, Control J. And here we go. Alright, as you guys can see, this is the uh, spawner. Yeah, the spawner. Okay, so now we got it here, and obviously we're gonna add this little layer style here. And I don't really like how it looks, so we're gonna change the inner, the inner glow, and the stroke. Apply, and yeah, so here we have the spawner. Alright guys, so I tried to recreate the arrow as much as I could, obviously it doesn't look perfect. Get a color red, then he does a white stroke on it, such as that, and I believe he puts it at... Not the, not something too much, but something to where you can see, so something like 4. And then adds a drop shadow, but not too much of a drop shadow, obviously. So we're just gonna take this bit down, you know, something like that. Um, Put it a black and yeah that's how you make an arrow alright guys so now that I do have the arrow I am gonna save that as a preset or as a layer style you know whatever you guys want to call it you know call on you but yeah nevertheless I'm gonna basically make it look like it's gonna fit so something like this would be good but obviously I don't really want it something near that so I'm just gonna push this a bit off more Tilt this a bit more and put it something there. Something like this is good enough. Okay, guys, so I found this iron golem um, grinder. It's, it's definitely, you know, unique. But yeah, anyways, I found it and I decided I'll use this. Why not? So, yeah, now, yeah, I'm gonna just time lapse me um, cutting that out, I guess. Alright guys, so now I tried to crop it out as best as I could. Obviously, I did miss most of it because, um, with with the what's it called with the lasso tool, it's actually pretty hard, um, to try to crop in every little thing. I do what I do to every other thing at this uh, layer style. Obviously, you can change whatever you want. I'm just gonna change the inner glow because I do not like how it looks. So I'm just gonna put it fully and not, no, 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 no. Put it to 50, that's a good one. Obviously I'm going to drag it down so it doesn't get in the way of the text. And yeah, here we go. So, now I do have this. I don't like how it is all the huge um, strokes, so I'm just going to put the sides down a bit to 4. Alright, so now I think this would actually look pretty good. So I'm just going to grab this, um, twist it around and put it, point it towards um, this. And how's this gonna look? Something like this. Um. Yeah, that looks that looks okay, I guess. Okay, guys. So now I do have a picture of an iron golem, just because in PvP words, if you guys don't know, iron golems actually um, you can change them from coal and you know, to all these different blocks or ores, you know, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, and this quickly, this reminds me, I will be recording on this faction server soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Okay, no, I don't like how that looks. I'm gonna take it away, uh, rasterize it, and we're gonna add a bit more IGs. Alright guys, so now I, I almost messed up. 
pretty bad so we're just gonna merge layers dude oh my god yeah you guys don't know what almost happened but I, i'm just gonna say i almost messed up like so hard all right so we have the igs so now you guys well, okay you guys already know we add this we change the lighting if you guys want to um yeah you guys can change it to whatever you want to i'm going huh let's see that definitely looks interesting i'm gonna leave it like that and put the strokes a bit down oh that that yeah that looks better without any strokes it looks way better oh yeah all right so now i'm gonna put this down uh to here just because i don't want to get it in the way of the arrow and move this a bit so yeah now what you guys can do just to fill up more background you guys could just do this and multiply it anywhere so it basically um covers more of the background you know just yeah Okay, so now what you guys want to do is actually go to um, wherever your background is or whatever picture you want to input, you know, it can be whatever. I'm just going to use this one because it's already there. So you just, you guys just want to basically center it towards 1287.20 or whatever size as long as it fits the whole screen. So I'm just going to put it, um, change the aspect ratio of it to there. Now from here, uh, I'm gonna let you guys copy these settings real quick. So, inner glow. Okay, so guys, copy these settings. These are gonna be. These are what. This is what's gonna make it basically look better. Or look. Yeah, basically, it's gonna just. It's just. Cause... All right, guys, copy these settings real quick. Um, so. All right. So now, um, all you guys want to do is. Pick a color, any color you guys want to. I'm going to do, let's see, what color do I want to do? Uh, blue or orange? I'm just gonna go with blue and keep it as that. Now press overlay and boom, this is how it should look. But you guys want to rasterize the layer style, then merge layers. Now this is what your background will look like. Let me just quickly add everything else back. There we go. All right, now from here, um, you guys are actually gonna want to disable everything and by just taking off that little eye thing. Now from here, get your little rectangle tool, I believe. Yeah, rectangle tool and make it just a random rectangle because you're gonna resize it the other way. Try to put it to where the corner is and just do this I don't really know how to explain this so just do what I'm doing make it to where it looks like little just outline it basically that's what I'm saying I don't really know how to explain that part that much now from here you guys want to get your um, your wand tool click the rectangle and actually um, go to your background layer and control J and what that does is basically remove um, that okay I don't know how to explain that that much so yeah once you guys do that it basically removes the outer layer now from here all you guys need to do is press your one tool thing again and just click where it's transparent now from here you guys want to go back recheck the background and control J again now you guys want to move it up and go here and press drop shadow now you guys want to put the distance down and uh, do you guys want to put the distance down change this to whatever color you want obviously I'm gonna keep it at black and uh, because that's what it's meant to be and put the uh, spread at zero or something near there like you could put it at 10 20 20 looks a bit too much but yeah you guys can do whatever now you can change the size to whatever I recommend doing it 40 40 always looks good so yeah now you guys put everything back all right guys so as i promised the pack for these um layer styles are going to be in the description now i did make these layer styles so if you guys can leave it a like if you guys do download them and use them so yeah now i don't know if you guys want me to do this but i can leave this as a what's it called 
template if you guys do want to use it because this is this isn't for anyone I just made this offhand so yeah if you guys do want to use it as a template make sure to leave it down in the comments um, and I'll see you about releasing it